Hello and welcome to The Right Stuff. This is CMC's series of talks with writer creators about what it takes to get a kids show off the ground. I'm Angela Salt and I'm here to talk to Olga Cheripanova, Ukrainian writer, producer, about Brave Bunnies, the preschool series that she created and which I wrote on. It's a really cute show. It's really successful. It's a hit in some like 80 countries, I think now. So let's take a look at it and see a clip. Careful you don't take a tumble. What are my brave bunnies up to today? Brave bunny, brave bunny, brave bunny, away! Okay, so, Olga, I guess an obvious question to start is how did you get into children's media? What's your background? Uh, actually, Brave Bunnies is my the biggest and most successful show for the kids, but uh, I had like more than 10 years on my background uh, working with the kids' content 12 years ago with my partners in Kiev, we created a creative production house called Globry and start created uh, books for kids, uh, application, activity books, and uh, we always focused on the, on the global audience. It was my really big interest. And before that, I worked as a producer in feature films and I saw how um, in feature films and advertising, and I've met with plenty of really creative people from a little bit different industry. But when I saw that all directors from all over the world came to the creativity from the different perspective, one day I realized that it's possible to uh, permit myself to do something what I really feel about, you know, so that I'm a creative person and I jump from the producing to the creative stuff. So when we, when I, uh, and creative, content for kids was always my dream. I knew that, I feel that. And um, I, I wish to, to write for kids from the childhood, you know, so it's like, that is why it's like my kid's dream. And, uh, you know, when we when we started with the, with the company, um, I wrote the books by myself and invite a lot of Ukrainian colleagues. And the idea was to invite um, young and very talented illustrator and writer from Ukraine and to create something globally for the world. Uh, quite quickly, our books and uh, apps became to be popular not only in Ukraine, but in the different countries and apps top uh, to hits in App Store and Google uh, Google Play as well, you know, in, in their category in, in different countries. And all this success gave us idea to create something more globally and more about the business. So four years ago, all together with a bigger partner, uh, Filmier Group, this is uh, the biggest Eastern Europe uh, media holding in Ukraine, based in Ukraine, we started uh, thinking and created a global IP and animation series. And uh, our first, uh, like the first project based on the, the most successful book series created in, inside of the publishing house Globry, uh, named M Mom Harry's Home. We receive a very positive feedback from the whole festivals here in Ukraine and even in Canada, but the mm -hmm. project didn't get a broadcaster, a global broadcaster quite soon. But actually, exactly that experience with the first project gave me a possibility to create something uh, really new with the when I already knew the rules of this industry, not about the books, the apps, but exactly about animation. And Brave Bunnies um, has really great and positive uh, and brave and quick start from the very beginning. So this is like the, the short story about where I come from. Oh. So how soon after you first pitched it, did you actually go into production? I realized that we were really prepared for that moment. And um, we've met our co-producer, uh, co co-production company, Anima from Spain. And uh, we've, uh, we've met our broadcast company Adman from UK and uh, even before um, even before we started the production we had a couple of really successful meetings with the licensing partners so we we shaped the global strategy but for sure to jump to the production all these very important steps should uh, happen you should find the financial for the project ta da uh, and secondly <laughs> and, uh, and and that's how it happens ta da <laughs> 
yeah mm -hmm. so something like that it's usually the miracle and uh, after that as a creative producer or if you're a showrunner you should uh, find the people you will make you you should create the whole story uh, the, the whole season with and mm. it's plenty of a lot of creative people we focus here on the writing team so i yeah. uh, i started looking for the creative team for director and it was really exciting and i remember that to uh, to make um, everything uh, more easier we invite all the people in Kiev and we spent uh, the whole writing team was invited to Kiev and and uh, we became to be really close friends with all the writing team from the very beginning yeah I mean we were obviously you know it, it was an in, well still is an international team people were working um, from all over the place uh, we've got yeah. John Van Bruggen who was uh, you know the executive story editor and head writer yeah, over yeah. in Toronto yeah. Um, yeah, and so we kind of we, we were accustomed to working via Zoom uh, remotely before lockdown happened. So do you think, you know, it really helped that we'd all met each other and we knew each other and we'd, we'd obviously bonded because, um, you know, the, the production carried on, didn't it? All the way through lockdown uh, yeah, yes. and, and very successfully. That. Yeah, you know, so I feel that it helped us a lot. And this is what film industry um, t t taught me, you know, that it's better to meet with the main players before the long production, at mm -hmm. least even in case you can make everything on the distance online. And I'm so happy that before lockdown, we had a chance to meet with all writing team. And because the production happened in five countries on the three continents and it was locked down in quite scary time and nobody know how to fit that. And it was the different languages uh, and uh, we play, you know, so our partner uh, for animation was from, uh, worked from Canarian Island and Mexico, our um, executive um, um, uh, chief editor uh, John Van Bruggen is from Canada, our director uh, Tim Feybach from London and we split the writing team from Canada and UK and all our department and me was in Kiev so it's always yeah. a time difference and uh, a culture difference um, and but actually it helped us even during lockdown we were in timing you know and we keep really good positive moods i feel in the uh, i feel sometimes even it's it's not easy to keep a really tough timing and and to play in zoom all the day but uh, finally we we keep this play playful mood yeah. that was um, it playful i think you really looked after your writers um i remember i've got my my medal here do you remember these? Yeah. <laughs> you know, so after the the, the first year, we, we shared on <laughs> with uh, the whole team these medals for one year. Yeah, we, we realized that it's a marathon and we've made it really great. And actually, uh, we try, we, we did all our the best and I personally to, to feel this good mood because I personally trust that if you feel that you create something really good and you're in a good mood, it will be somehow delivered to the content and we created something really funny and... Uh, and really nice and with a big mission for the kids it's very important so what about the newspaper do you remember the newspaper yeah. the this is a really oh thank you angela you know so it's like this is a funny story uh when lockdown uh, came we understand that even in ukraine we we cannot meet with each other and uh, somehow we lost the feeling of the team and we decide to create the creative uh, uh, newspaper and every month we created a newspaper about the news inside of our team, you know, so we made interview with all main players and uh, we created some news and uh, funny stuff. And I feel that it's really when it's really helped us. Angela, how, how did you feel about that? <laughs> and it was a lot of fun. It was really, yeah, absolutely fun. <laughs> um, you know, it was it was a really lovely way to keep uh, the team spirit going, you know, when we were all just uh, in lockdowns and separated obviously so yeah and, and you Thank know you for that Olga. <laughs> oh, and you know so it was really funny because uh, i've got from all that interviews that all these people not just doing something for brave bunnies they just alive people with a private life i understand what they mm -hmm. like what they don't like <laughs> it, it was really really uh, th the great method to keep us positive during lockdown yeah. um we're asking everybody um you know as part of the creative process how you deal with rejection because obviously rejection can impact people's mental health negatively. Um, clearly, you know, you were doing a lot to uh, support everybody's mental health. Um, but how, how do you think, 
I mean, how would you personally deal with rejection of an idea? I had a joke that uh, a psychologist inside of me never, <laughs> never sleep, you know, so it's like I already have this, all these skills and I practice uh, a lot. Um, it's my uh, second degrees and I knew how to cope with uh, different feelings by myself and how to help another people. And um, what I really, it's my personal feeling, what is really helped me usually to understand the role of industry and that, uh, yes, this is about creativity. And sometimes you have a lot of brilliant idea, uh, but sometimes they not fit to the show. And it's okay if somebody share that it's a brilliant idea, but not for this show. Or for example, it's not how our character could uh, speaking with or something like that. So. Mm, it's something not about your ideas and not to take it personally it's uh, not because it not personally because you are great you know so and always uh, for me it's always helpful because i create all together with the whole creative team and uh, 50 percent of my ideas just uh, forget about that you know so they're great but not for that show or for example not for this episode and we will never use it you know so it's just gone 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 and i always uh, for me the market uh, the marker always is, will this idea make the show better or just present uh, that you're a creative person? What's the one thing that you might, uh, you might say to somebody who's uh, got an idea and they uh, want to turn it into a show? Keep in mind that you have three types of audience always. Uh, if you if you speak about uh, series for kids, it's a broadcaster who has their needs and uh, uh, rules and you should... Uh, you should think about uniqueness and uh, how to be different from all the really brilliant stuff has already made before you. And this is the like one, um, this is, this broadcast is really the one focus. And, you know, the second really important target audience, it's uh, parents because still remote controls in their hands. And you should think why they permit kids <laughs> to see the show. And finally, the main, main audience, it's the kids. And so uh, any new big missions should be really funny, uh, mm -hmm. really exciting for them. So actually, it's not easy to, to keep every, all three audience in mind. But if, if you could mm -hmm. do that, this, you know, it's, I feel that this is the, <laughs> the rule how to be successful with the series. Yeah. So Olga, I just want to say thank you very much for joining us here today uh, and sharing your tips on creating a show, which I'm sure our audience are really going to appreciate. So thank you. Thank you, Angela, for invitation. I'm so happy to be here today. So thank you as well. So I'd also like to thank you, the audience, for watching this Right Stuff um, session. Uh, and I'd like to tell you that there are other interviews with writer creators in this series in the VOD section of the CMC website. There's also going to be uh, a session at the CMC in real life called Mentor Me, Mentor You, and that's about mentoring programs for kids writers. So we're looking forward to seeing a lot of you in July in Sheffield in real life and enjoy all the content that's available on demand. Thank you.